If you're good at trivia, does that mean you're smart? According to some new research, the opposite is true. Eh. Eh. In a specific way. Let me make it more easy. So this research comes from Professor Blake Richards from the University of Toronto. And he his thesis here is that if you're forgetting more things or forgetting small details, being a little forgetful, it may mean that your brain is actually functioning better. The crux of this is your uh shedding the chaff of the information and keeping the more important part. And according to him, intelligence is sort of building upon uh, different pieces of knowledge and different experiences and learning how to understand and uh, cope dynamically as opposed to remembering every little piece of minutia. Right, that said, just because you're being forgetful does not mean you're smart. No. There are, if you are forgetting important things, it like may where your keys are. It be a sign that your brain is working properly. But it also might be a, a sign that you're losing it. Because it, the, the crux of this is there are things it is good to forget. Mm. There are non-essential experiential memories that you don't need. It would be better, you would prefer to forget exactly what color the person was wearing but rather get a feeling for what kind of a person they are. Mm -hmm. So if you say, I don't like that person, oh, and I've then someone's, that. and then you're in a fight with your girlfriend and she's like, well, what specific time did they do you wrong? And you go, I don't remember, I just remember not liking them. Well, if you held That's on okay. to that information, it's just, it's thinking, why did you hold on to that relatively useless information that does not help your life at all? Right, exactly. So that's that's good. There's some things it's good to forget, and and it, you do that to because the important thing is retaining that that memory of what you needed to remember, which apparently was a feeling for like a store not having what you want, not mm -hmm. specifically what thing didn't they have when I went there, like freaking Dick Sporting Goods. I go to this place, Dick Sporting Goods, every time I need a sporting good and they never have it. I don't remember what specific things I went to buy, but I know that every time I've gone there, they never have like the boogie board that I want or anything <laughs> remotely good. So I can't tell you what they didn't have, I know they fucking suck. I've cussed twice. I can't twice imagine and I'm you sorry. buying a boogie board from Dick's Boarding Goods. <laughs> There's one in El Segundo. Great. And boogie boarding <laughs> is great. So this story is currently, or not story, this research is currently in Neuron, the scientific journal. Um, and they found in this that the growth of new neurons in the hippocampus, uh, that is the part of our brains that is most closely associated with memory. the part where memory. hippos go to college. If that's something you remember, maybe, uh, it seems to promote forgetting. So the, the purpose of this is to make new room for more information, specifically more important information. So it could be a sign that your brain is functioning properly. However, you do need to look at context. As Brett says, it may be a bad sign as well if you're constantly forgetting everything. Something interesting in this is they said that while it's, it's easier to remember specifics, if you're remembering conflicting information than if mm. you're just given a random fact. Mm -hmm. So it's easier to retain like the two sides of an argument than it is to retain just one side of the argument because you get more involved in reconciling the differences. So that's a deeper experience and that's the kind of thing you're, that makes it more likely to remember each side because you do need that information as opposed to like, you know, who won the World Series in 1977. Right, I think the point of this is for me to say trivia is not all that. But then what do I have to live for if I don't have trivia? Which is Brett's favorite pastime on Wednesdays. It's true. Yeah, yeah. Audience, have you ever forgotten something uh, pretty insignificant and had it come up later? Please let us know below and please like and subscribe for more.